so the tool Toscarizer. After finishing the application deployment, we can move to the next step, the application deployment, where the Toscarizer and Infrastructure Manager are the key components. In this case, we're going to show the Toscarizer tool. The Toscarizer tool helps the user to generate component container images, generate Tosca templates with the full description of the virtual infrastructure required by the application, the deployment of all the application components along the computing continuum. Toscarizer is used because provisioning and configuring complex virtual infrastructure is a quite complex task due to multiple APIs and a lot of configurations involved. The application deployment is not an easy task without AI Sprint tool. Without them, the application manager has to manually create Docker files and build and then push all the images for the different components and different architectures. He also has to manually create Tosca templates to enable the deployment of the application components, so it requires advanced knowledge on Tosca standard. And also the application manager has to access multiple cloud backends with different interfaces, different APIs, etc. But using Toscarizer, container images are automatically built and pushed for all the components only for the needed architectures used in the deployments. Furthermore, Tosca templates are automatically generated for all the components with the exact requirements specified by the application developers in the application description files. And finally, it is automated the deployment and undeployment of the OSCAR services on top of pre provision OSCAR clusters and the edge, or provision the whole OSCAR clusters on available cloud backends. Toscarizer enables the application manager to access the cloud continuum. It supports four types of deployments. First one is the edge device, where only OSCAR service is deployed on top of an existing OSCAR cluster, probably deployed on top of a Kubernetes minified version as K3S. An edge node or also an edge device that can be accessed via SSH. In this case, uh, it will be deployed Kubernetes, OSCAR and on top the OSCAR services. The third case is the, let's say, a standard cloud uh, deployment, where the Oscar Toscarizer will deploy the virtual machines and then the full stack of components of the applications. And there is a final case, that is the AWS Lambda, where only the fast function are deployed on top of this infrastructure, and in this case, the SCAR tool is used to facilitate the connection. Toscarizer tool takes as input the output of the AI Spring Design tool plus a set of additional files. In case of there are some already deployed physical nodes, you have to add this physical nodes YAML file where the user has to specify the endpoints of the already deployed ones, for example the menu credentials, the SSH credentials, or in case of AWS, the AWS S3 info. And the second file that is in this case is mandatory is the infrastructure manager out file, where the application manager has to provide the credentials to access different cloud providers where the applications will be deployed. Finally, let's see the Toscarizer demo. This demo will show how to build and push Docker images for all the components, how to create the corresponding Docker file to deploy all the application components how to perform the deployment through the IAM. We will see how to test the application workflow to see how it has been deployed currently, and finally, how to undeploy the resources. The first step in the demo is to make a Docker login to currently access the registry where we are going to push the images. The second command is the Toscarizer Docker command where we specify the registry, the registry folder, and the application dir have all the files of the application. Once all the images are created, we have created an also an additional file with the containers where we have information for the recently generated images for each component. And as we also have been using the AS Spring wrapper, 
it also modifies the candidate deployments, setting the correct images readily generate. So we can move on to the next step, that is generation of the Tosca files. So we are going to use the Toscaizer Tosca command. And in this case, we are only have to specify the application there and say that we are going to use the base case. And one Tosca file is generated per each component. We can see the files are generated correctly, one per each component. So we can now deploy the infrastructure, but we have to create first the authentication file for the infrastructure manager. We have to create one line for each cloud provider available. So let's go to deploy. You use the Toscarizer deploy command. And in this case, it starts deploying the first component. In this case, the mass detector. And now we are going to use so the infrastructure uh, manager dashboard to show how the application is deployed. But the user does not need to access it because it is doing, doing uh, in internally with the IEM and in the Toscarizer. So this step is, is not really needed. It is only used in this demo to show the progress. We can see that the virtual machines has been deployed. And now we only have to wait these virtual machines to be configured. We have uh, all of them configured, so the deployment continues with the next component. We can refresh and see that the next cluster is also being deployed. So now we can access the first cluster because it's currently now fully configured. We can access the OSCAR endpoint using the OSCAR password provided. And we will see that our service, our mass detector service, has been de deployed there. We can go back to the infrastructure manager and let's wait a bit for the other cluster to be configured. Now we have both clusters configured. We can see the outputs of the Tosca in order to access the second cluster. And we will see that in this case the Pluriphrases component has been deployed here. The outputs can be also be seen using the Toscarizer tool, using the outputs command in a way that the user can get all the information that it's required to access the cluster using only the Toscarizer tool. So now that we have all the components deployed, let's make a small test to see that the workflow has been correctly made. So let's start uh, uploading a video file to the first component, that is the blurry faces. Let's start a demo video. And once this video is uploaded, it will trigger the execution of the Blu-ray Faces component. We will see that there is one task running. We only have to wait a bit. And it will create at the end a set of output files that will be stored not in this cluster but on the other one. In this folder in this output folder and these are triggering the execution of the second component the mass, the mass detector we can see that is the image that is blurred and we can see that a set of executions has been triggered one per each image that has been generated in the previous step now we are waiting for the jobs to succeed and we can see that most of them has been finalized and we can see the outputs, we can see the image where one mask has been detected in this case. We can go back in order to see if all the jobs has finalized, see that all has been succeeded and if we do not need 
this application uh, anymore we can use again the Toscarizer tool with the delete command to release all the cloud resources that can be used It will take some, some minutes to complete the total deployment, the total undeployment and the deletion of the virtual machines. And when it's finished, we can refresh the infrastructure manager dashboard only to check it that all the infrastructures can be deployed.